Hi, good morning. Thanks for the introduction. So my name is Francisca Belmar, and I will present our work, Use of Artificial Intelligence in Laparoscopic Skills Simulation Training, Candidate Help Assessment. These are our disclosures. So what are the main limitations now for laparoscopic skills training? Well, one of the main limitations we have is the access, since there are no simulation skills training uh, available for all countries. Most of the simulation trainings is located in the northern hemisphere, which uh, doesn't enable for countries like ours to have access to simulation training. And there's also a lack of expert evaluator network that can assess those trainings. So this is where artificial intelligence comes as a solution to this problem, because it can allow for an objective and a standardized assessment of the laparoscopic skills, and it allows for an easy scale-up, and it has a theoretically unlimited uh, amount of assessment it can perform. So this is where we ask ourselves, can we achieve similar results with artificial intelligence compared to expert evaluators? In order to answer that question, we use our digital platform that already has 369 trainees and over 6,000 videos of a laparoscopic skills exercises. Of those videos, we selected uh, two exercises. The first one was the bin drop exercise and the second one was the peg transfers. So what are those exercises? Well, the bin drop exercise consists of moving uh, five beans from one recipient to the other in less than 24 seconds without dropping this uh, bean at any time. For, to train the algorithm, we use 400 videos of this exercise. And for the peg transfer, that consists of moving six rubber objects from left to right while switching mid-air from the left hand to the right and then do it backwards without dropping the object in less than 55 seconds. To develop the algorithm on this exercise, we use 480 videos. So what were the goals of this algorithm? We wanted the algorithm to detect the precision of the grasper clamps, identify if these objects, the beans, or the rubber objects have fallen, and measure the exercise from the first touch of the grasper to the object to the last touch of the grasper. And afterwards, we compare those assessments to our current gold standard that are expert evaluators. To do so, we use the Cohen Kappa test. So what were the first results we have with this? So we tested uh, 64 videos for the bean drop and 43 videos for uh, the peg transfer. Those are videos that were not tested priorly to train the algorithm, and we achieve a precision of a 98% of the grasper's clamp location within the video frame, and a 74% precision of the relationship between the grasper clamps and the other objects that are in the image. So for the peg transfer, that is the video you're seeing now, we achieve a level of agreement of a 93.02% with a Cohen Kappa coefficient of 0.86. What does that mean? Well, when we analyze Cohen Kappa, this is an almost perfect agreement between expert evaluators and uh, our, our algorithm. In the case of the bean drop exercise, we only achieved a 79.17% of agreement with a Cohen Kappa coefficient of 0 0.58. This uh, tells us that we have a moderate agreement between the algorithm and our expert evaluators. So what are the limitations to our current study? Well, the first limitation we see in this study is that the videos used were from a standardized training system, and therefore we don't know if it can be applied to any training exercise. And we use a limited sample of less than 500 videos for each exercise. We also showed uh, problems with the detection of fallen objects, specifically in the case of the bin drop exercise, where the algorithm wasn't so precise in detecting if the, if the bin had dropped or not. And uh, currently, this algorithm can only uh, uh, evaluate the time and say if it, you pass the exercise or not, but it doesn't provide you feedback, so it's just restricted for assessment. 
So what are the projections of this study? Currently, we're working on expanding this algorithm to use it in 11 basics exercises that are available through our platform. We think it can be applied to other similar programs and simulators that use uh, basic laparoscopic skills training. And we believe that if we achieve an even higher level of accuracy with our algorithm, it could also be used to automatize uh, the certification of basic skills laparoscopic, of basic uh, laparoscopic skills. So what are the conclusions of this study? It is feasible to develop an AI algorithm that can assess basic laparoscopic uh, simulation training exercises and the use of artificial intelligence can have high levels of agreement with our current gold standard that are expert evaluators. Thank you.